Hi, welcome to this week's Commercial Real Estate Report. I'm Tom Dakin, business reporter at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and writer of the Land and Space Commercial Real Estate blog at jsonline.com. As downtown Milwaukee's $55 million modern high-rise nears completion, the 30-story apartment and condo building can be seen as a test for both developer Rick Barrett and City Hall. For Barrett, the Modern is his biggest and riskiest project, and one that opens its doors after undergoing changes that include discarding a hotel plan and switching the vast majority of the housing units from condominiums to high-end rentals. Meanwhile, the building's financial performance will be watched by Mayor Tom Barrett, no relation, and the Common Council, which approved city loans totaling over $9 million to help finance the project. On a recent tour of the Modern, Rick Barrett told me that interest in the building is very high. While just two of the Modern's 14 condo units are currently reserved by prospective buyers, 72 of the 203 apartments are reserved, Barrett said. The Modern's first apartments will be completed in August with additional units opening in fall. That's way ahead of the initial scheduled opening with the unseasonably warm weather playing a role in speeding up construction. Also, Barrett recently announced that the entire 8,000 square feet of street level retail space will be leased for 20 years for Carson's, a ribbon steak restaurant with two locations in the Chicago area. Owner Dean Carson hopes to open his restaurant in October. Meanwhile, city officials hope that the Modern sparks additional development in the Park East area. The building's property taxes will be used to help pay down the city's debt it incurred in financing the teardown of the former Park East Freeway, which prepared the area for new construction. For more on this story, look for an upcoming article in the journal Sentinel and at jsonline.com.